a lot of my corn fields, I'll fence out, four wire fence, fence a riparian area out of the field and use that as part of a center fence so I can kill two birds with one stone. And that protects my shelter for the cows and it gives me a safe base. Like I like to travel and I like to be away. So in those cases, four wire fences are the best. So this farm, we're, we're right on the Medicine River here. It runs right through the middle of our farm. So the, the riparian management has been quite important to us because it, it really was in quite poor shape when we took it over. And we've, we've spent a lot of time trying to remedy that situation. So river bank is mostly all fenced off to prevent the cattle getting unrestricted access to it. Uh, we were able to incorporate some alley building into that and in that, in that we can bring cows along the river bank into our corral system here and, and using it like that we're not overusing the river bank but it, it provides a good use for, for facilitating the cattle handling as well as protecting the river. It's nice to have a few sloughs uh, uh, in the dry years uh, you know we can use them in the summertime that's probably the most productive part of the farm. And uh, yeah, when it's wet, we just wait till the ground is frozen and then go ahead and use it to, with very little impact on the, you know, on the slough itself. When we set up our bales, we generally try and divide them into um, a few cells. And so what we'll do as we're feeding is try and make sure that anything, um, the ground that might be a little low or um, questionable, we could graze first. And then we can leave the better quality hay on high ground for um, later in the season once spring breakup comes and our cows really need uh, more nutrition. You have to realize that when you provide a really nice place for a cow to lay down or go to shelter, that's where she's going to leave a lot of her nutrients for the day. So we don't want all the nutrients that these cows are passing along dropped in the bush. It doesn't do us any good. Uh, if they spend too much time in the bush, they're going to really affect the, the understory. They're going to kill all those little seedlings all those little trees, so you can end up with a mature stand of trees that's just going to die on you and then you got a, a, just a bunch of windfall. We want those cows out on the fields where they're going to do us some good. So of course you want your, your fertilizer on your knolls. We won't put bales on lower areas because when spring comes they could be underwater. So depending on your landscape, it might not have to be set in a nice row. If you have all kinds of rolling hills, you might want to put your feet on top of your knolls and just have a little fence around there. So every operation is different. You have to figure out something that's going to work for you.